hello guys naomi here welcome back to my channel if you're new here please make sure you subscribe in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make this beautiful infinity peplum top it's a 720 degree infinity peplum top yep 720 <laughs> if you want to know how to make this please make sure you watch to the very end of this video yeah all right let's get into the video now for the calculations to get your 720 degree circle you have to cut 360 degree twice now to measure that you have to measure your waist circumference divided by 2 mine is 25 divided by 2 that's going to give you 12.5 the standard measurement for a circle skirt or top is 6.28 so now divide that 12.5 divided by 6.28 whatever it gets is what you use to uh, measure your circle i would be folding both my fabric and lining into four to cut my peplum as you can see i didn't try to manage my fabric so if you want to uh, manage your fabric this is what you can do you measure the length of your peplum before folding it and then times it by two if your measurement is 10 you say 10 times 2 give you 20 so you measure 20 before actually folding the fabric and give half inch hem allowance the measurement i got for the circle is actually two but right there i measured 2.5 because i want to um do some pleats Now, after cutting your 360 degree one of it, you have to put the 360 degree, the one you cut, onto another fabric. So you can use that as the pattern to cut the second one. It's easier that way. Now, you have to cut one side open on each 360 degree peplum so you can actually join it to get the 720. For the straps, I measured 15 inches wide and 67 inches long it depends on what you actually want you can go wider you can go longer whatever you want and you can go for a different bottom uh pleats 360 degree gathers whatever you want for the waistband i'll be cutting on fold i'm taking 26 inches long and three inches wide 26 inches because my waist measurement is 25 then I'll be adding one inch for um, zip allowance. So when you open it up, it will give you six inches wide, but still 26 inches. Now we have all the complete piece, your 720 degree, your straps and your waistband that's all you need meanwhile it's not compulsory for you to add lining you can add it if you want you are going to be joining your peplum right sides facing each other you also do the same for the lining Go to your sewing machine and sew that part. You're going to be joining the fabric to the lining. Make sure the right sides are facing each other. Then go ahead and secure it with a pin. Using pin makes it easier so your fabric won't move around. So use a pin. I have gone ahead to pin the top and the bottom, leaving the two sides open because that's where you'll be turning it inside out from. So after securing the pin, you go to your sewing machine and sew the top and the bottom.
I have finished sewing and I've gone ahead to turn it inside out. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing the kissing pleats. I'll do the kissing pleats till it gets to the exact measurement of my waist. Plus one inch for zip allowance. I'm going to go to my machine and stitch the top you go ahead and sew your zip into one part of the peplum that's the fabric part so you can use the lining to cover the stitch so it will look neat and nice Okay, for real, I'm not a big fan of putting zip. Um, let me know in the comment section if you are like me. <laughs> I added another fabric to my strap because I did not have enough. The trick I'll do here is I'm going to sew it wrong side facing each other. Then later on, I'll turn it and sew it right side facing each other. You will also do that to the other part of the straps. Go ahead to fold and pin. You fold once and then twice. I'm having a hard time pinning because I have this injury on my thumb. So please bear with me. Now I'm going to use needle and thread to stitch the lining to the zip. You stitch it in a way that it will show on the right side of, of the peplum. You are going to get the middle of your peplum so you can sew in your straps. one on the left and one on the right I decided to sew in my straps first before the waistband but you can sew in your waistband before your straps whichever way you want now make sure the right sides are facing each other I'm going to pleat it a little bit. You play the right side and the left side as well. So I went ahead to pleat it and make sure you overlap so you can give it like that V shape kind of neckline. Go to your sewing machine and sew a straight stitch. 
I've sewn in my straight stitch. Now we are going to sew in our waistband. Now you should iron your waistband like that. Then tuck your peplum into your waistband. One further side should be inside and the other one should be on top. Use your pin to secure so the fabric doesn't move around. That pin is your best friend right now, really. After pinning it all the way to the zip, go ahead and stop stitch with your sewing machine. So now that's the final result. Make sure you iron properly so it sits right. There you have it. You're done! Your infinity peplum top is ready. Now you can style it whichever way you want, you like, and rock it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section below how you would style your infinity peplum top. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.